Ness versus Pikachu? Is that literally our grand? Oh, Lucas versus Pikachu. Our, almost our grand finals from last week. Oh no, that's not how you want to start it off. All right, uh, Dimple gonna be taking a quick SD. Gonna give Crash a really pretty powerful lead here, you know. Hasn't taken any damage. Uh, Crash is kind of dominating this right now. It seems that Dimpo is kind of like uh, out of his depth, perhaps. But that's all right. You got to start somewhere, right? I like that. Trying to take it slow. Trying to figure out what he wants to do. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely like trying to go for like safer things now. He's not trying to go two balls to the wall. He knows that like he might need a better handle on how things are going. Nice. All right. I would not advise to do skull bash like that. Just mid stage. All right. He had the right idea. He had the read. Ooh. Okay. Gonna fall into uh, charge F smash. So Dimple definitely gonna get a stock there. Let's see. Dimple looking to end it right there with that dash back forward smash wasn't far didn't get far enough with that fox trot gonna confirm to grab off the nair and up throw is gonna take game one all right kind of a sloppy start uh for dimple but let's see if he can make any adjustments he definitely was trying to make some adjustments there by uh after those two stocks so Let's see what we can get from him. Okay. Yeah, here we're gonna see uh, unfortunate SD. I think he meant to do angle up, right? Not just straight, right? Like that. Here's where he's gonna take Crash's first stock. Yeah, Crash tried to stuff it. You honestly, I really don't like guys. Don't try and stuff like moves like that. Uh, it, it's just not worth the risk reward. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, you push him back, and then uh, it's like great, but the the risk is that you die. Just retreat back to ledge. Uh, like, remember that they're throwing out a move on whiff that they're gonna have some recoil. Uh, forward smash while uh, d still has quite a bit of uh, cooldown. So you know. It's not worth it. Ready? All right, let's see where we're going to next. Pretty sure we're seeing a stage change. They both left and they stayed characters. So, Three, all right, going to Yoshi's. A uh, pretty, pretty understandable pick for a character like Pikachu. Really mobile character, has a lot of dimensions of movement, and just platforms just really just emphasize and accentuate that sort of stuff. So if he's able to like capitalize on that, he's going to be much harder to catch. And so if he goes for a lot more like small trades and stuff, doesn't you really don't need to get large strings because if you, they never touch you, then what does it matter? However, Crash is the one who's already dealed uh, 80 damage, so... Dimple still has his work cut out for him. I think he was trying to kind of rush him, but like just like what we saw in the first game, you know, he 
he's not like fully adept on like what his options for those ends should be. And Pikachu can be a very difficult character to use. Like movement is uh, his strongest tool, but it's also his most difficult. And you know, like that, gonna get a whiff, whiff grab into spot dodge, uh, and that's just gonna tie up to eating a forward smash. So Crash gonna be taking a pretty early stock, only taking 44 damage, 57 now. You can tell Dimple wants to be slippery. He's just not, he's just not greased up enough. You know? Okay, Crash uh, trying to keep that stage control, but loses it. Is Dimple gonna get something off of this? If that platform wasn't in the way, that might have been a stock. I want to see him come in from above more and like just like fade out when you know that the window isn't there. You know, like it's like your movement doesn't have to end with an input. You know, let the move itself be the input sometimes. But regardless, uh, crashing a little bit grab heavy there, and uh, Dimple actually able to dash back and forward smash to for the punish. So evening up the stocks. This is already way more competitive than the first game. No SC so far, so. Already like that adjustment, better control, you know, not trying to let the nerves get to him. I, he, I like the fact that he's like, he's dabbling with the idea about like weaving in and out, but then he goes for like the hard commit option like uh, Skull Bash and like go for less committal things like use the fact that like you see how when you go in and then you go back out and you saw how your opponent reacted to that they're gonna try and read something like that next time so you can mix up you can uh, like you can further the pattern and and like really gain some like real mental uh, conditioning from that but crash gonna be taking dimple second stock Ooh, all right oh okay uh ooh. I didn't think that back air was going to hit. Oh, unfortunate spacing there uh, for Dimple. Tried to punish the PK Thunder 2 with forward smash, but it was too close, so I ended up touching it. But getting an up smash, evening up the stocks here. Now, last stock scenario, pretty even percentages here. Crash pulling away a little bit. Ooh, uh. Uh, kind of an ill-advised PK freeze. Okay. That was an uh, not a great attempt by Dimple there. Crash was able... Uh, he went for, like, the safe move, but then didn't fully capitalize, so Crash was able to turn it around. I think Crash is now, like, kind of aware of, like, how he's going to be going for those forward smashes, and, like, these skull bashes. Stop! All right, catching the roll on the getup, uh... From Crash, by Crash. So, gonna be taking it to. Oh, Crash moving on. Dimple gonna be falling into the loser's bracket. Uh, much better adjustments uh, by Dimple, and uh, you know, got, got to see a little bit more of his gameplay, and you know, it, it, it gave Crash a little bit of a harder time, but uh, he definitely seemed like not too uh, uncomfortable, to say the least. Man, the down smash was really a precursor to what was about to happen. <laughs> uh. 